It goes without saying fashion works in cycles. But across generations, recycled or second-hand clothing has remained a constant trend. Oh, darling. Oh. In recent years, with the help of social media platforms like TikTok and Instagram, hashtag thrifting has become a popular way to shop. This might be one of my best thrift hauls. Those are Prada. Guys, the thrift is so good today. A 2021 study by second-hand online retail company Relove found at least 70% of Australians bought a second-hand item in the year prior. More than half had shopped at an op shop. The biggest driver of kind of new customers coming into charity shops are those who are socially conscious, ethically conscious, environmentally conscious, that care about uh, durability and want to express themselves. And um, actually vintage is just so hot right now. It's so cool. It's a shift charity shops like the Red Cross are welcoming. I think op shops over the last decade or so have changed demonstrably. Um, if you went back 10, 20 years ago, you would find that a lot of people wouldn't like to admit that they shopped in an op shop. They'd be happy to admit that they donated. But now we're seeing a lot of people coming through who are really proud to say that they're shopping in op shops. And beyond fashion, the trend's helping to reduce retail waste. I think currently there's about a million tonnes diverted from landfill each year almost a billion dollars raised for social good, 888,000 tonnes of carbon emissions saved, so more growth means more of that. Op shops are known for being great places to find vintage and designer wear at a fraction of the cost, but some fear this increasing popularity will lead to higher prices. You used to go in and pay, you know, $2, $5, now for the same thing you're paying $25 and upwards. It's usually the same as you could get it for a brand new, there's not really yeah, it's not really a good price. The sector acknowledges prices have gone up in some stores, but not all. There's 3,000 charity shops. So for every cool vintage bespoke one, there's nine others doing everyday essentials. And our benchmarking shows the average price, item price is five bucks. And charities argue any increased revenue actually allows them to help more people. The money that we raise through the shops goes to support those who are disadvantaged and less vulnerable. Uh, and they're not often in the areas where we have the shop. They can be affected by disaster anywhere in the country, or in fact, they could be on the end of a phone call of the morning from Red Cross team checking in to see that they're OK. They can be anywhere around the country. So the funding that we get from the stores goes to help support those programs.